in Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. <laughs> they're eating. Last week, we had Venezuelan gangs taking over apartment buildings in Colorado. And this week, we have Haitians eating cats and dogs in Ohio. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets. I get paid every day, every day. I get paid, I get paid just to say I get paid, I get paid. Mm, money coming to me easily. Money coming in repeatedly. Money coming in and needing me. Money coming, it's just money coming, it's just money coming in frequently. Money coming in to be with me. Money coming in secretly. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. <laughs> they're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. I tell you what, that Joe Biden, he was losing the plot, wasn't he? Eh? Eh? Uh, I should tell you that immediately after that in interesting contribution to international really? public discourse, the host of the event said that officials in Springfield had made it absolutely clear there are no reports whatsoever of people in, in Springfield eating cats or, or dogs. <laughs> I nearly said no, cats and dogs, real. but cats or dogs. Um, Trump insisted that he had, and I quote, seen it on TV. Last week, we had Venezuelan gangs taking over apartment buildings in Colorado. And this week, we have Haitians eating cats and dogs in Ohio. Welcome back to another news of what the fuck are you guys talking about? Hi, my name is Christina the Haitian. No correlation. And I'm here to talk about the nonsense that I've been seeing on Twitter today. But before I do so, on a very serious note, let me change the voice so you can take me seriously. I've been saying this for weeks, actually. Ever since we had the whole debate between Maya and Tori, I've been saying there's like a little something going on here that's bigger than what we're seeing. And I do believe with the rhetorics and the narratives of the news that we've been seeing spread on social media that we're going to see constant news about immigrants in the country. And I think it's going to purposely put immigrants in a negative light because it's going to represent the nastiest things that you think immigrants can come in the country to do, like Venezuela gangsta over apartment buildings or Haitians eating cats in Ohio or like that one black lady that came and cried because the opportunities that she were not granted in life as an American citizen were granted to uh, I believe a Latino immigrant and she was crying about that because she deserved more she did but the focus was on the Latino man as if it's his fault rather than the government now to wrap this all up in a bow I believe that we're going to see a lot of conversations surrounding the American citizen versus the American immigrant and it's going to be pretty heated and passionate again so keep that in mind and let's not forget about the real life consequences of those we talk about online but hey hi i'm christina i'm a haitian i don't participate in eating cats and dogs and i have a lot to say about this do americans have the right to be concerned with the safety of their pets yes do americans have the right to be concerned with the safety of their cats and dogs yes so the real question, are Haitians going to eat your cats and dogs? Well, let's let's think about it. We've been in this country for a hot fucking minute. My mother has been here for over 50 years. Some of us are also citizens, so it'd be really hard for you to like take all of us out the country. But anyway, since we've been here for so long, why is it now that Haitians all of a sudden started eating cats and dogs in Ohio? Because this started with a white woman saying that she saw her Haitian neighbor eat her cat. Then it was a video of a black woman being apprehended by the cops and it was because allegedly she did try to hurt a cat and tried to eat it as well. We don't know that woman's ethnicity or nationality. But JD Vance, the bringer of truth in our society, has told us all that she is in fact Haitian and she is one of the billions of Haitians going to eat your cats and dogs in Ohio. And to back this up, the freedom of speech word that only allows you to talk about the things that he finds appropriate on the app that he bought because of freedom of speech but not really freedom of speech, said that it was true. That's right, Elon Musk, the owner of the worst transformer cars to exist in the universe with a lithium battery so bad that firefighters could not end a fire in a recent crash of a cyber truck. That guy, that guy confirms it. He just knows because the little birdie. And then we have Ted Cruz. God, can you think of a more reliable man than Ted Cruz? Like, I would trust him with my black life. Ted Cruz backed it up. The three of these bozos and the rest of Trump's milkers started going around on Twitter basically saying, if you let Haitian immigrants in the country, your cats and dogs are going to go missing. Now, I hear you. I hear ya. I hear ya. But what if I told you that there are cats and dogs in Haiti still and the island is like covered with Haitians? You may find yourself worrying about Haitians eating your cats and dogs, but I believe you should be more worried about disgruntled white people doing far worse because that's their statistic. That's what they're known for. Unlike them referencing Haitians eating cats and dogs by pulling up odd videos that they found on the dark web or some shit, we actually have statistics of their behavior with the atrocities that they've committed not only against animals but also against people because they are also the highest demographic in cannibalism. I mean, they're not the highest, but they have a lot of people. People that we often recognize by name, right? Like Albert Fisher, Jeffrey Dahmer. 
I'm just saying, if you really cared about the atrocities that are being committed against your pets, Haitians would probably be the fifth person on your radar. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live. Since Haitians are eating cats and dogs, I petition we get some griot flavored meow mix. How about some bun unflavored Purina? We should just go go crazy. This is absolutely foolish. We gotta deal with these rumors again, right? Most Haitian people are afraid of dogs. Any dog bigger than a cat, Haitians are probably afraid of it. Haitians already think cats are job. They're gonna be people that say, well, in Haiti, in the mountains, they I ain't never been to the mountains. If you're in the mountains in Haiti, I'm sure food is scarce and you gotta do what you gotta do. How did Haitians even get to Ohio in the first place? Biden program. We don't wanna eat these animals. We like our fair share of pigs, cows, goats, turkey, chicken. That's our meat round. We'll go to the nearest farmer market and get some cut up whatever kind of meat. I don't even know how we got in this rumor mill anyway. We minding our business. This rumor was going back in the 90s when I was in school. The whole Haitians eat cat thing, I, when it died off, I'm like, all right, that lame ass joke is never gonna come back. Here I am, a full adult paying taxes, and I gotta hear these jokes again by Magnus. Now, if we was cooking some mother cats and dogs, I bet you that mother would be seasoned and delicious, but we're not. If y'all really wanna talk about craziness, folks out here eating Bambi, eating all types of squirrels, possums, frying up some ant knuckles, snake liver, deer neck soup, raccoons, skunk back. They eating those things out there. So if y'all really want to come for them, save the skunk population. Save Bambi and her family and the deer. Something we're talking about, we out here eat. Y'all should try some Haitian food and let me know if it tastes like, let me just buy. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating they're eating the pets. Do Haitians eat cat? Yes, they do. And I was born in Haiti, but I was raised in America. But I have friends and family that were born and raised in Haiti, and they tell me stories of either them themselves eating the cat or them knowing people that do eat cat out there. So it's not um not weird on common to, for them to be doing it in um, Ohio because they came from a war-torn country and they haven't actually um, acclimated to the society yet. So, of course, you got to keep their same habit that they're doing over there. As a Haitian, I'm still against illegal immigration, but uh, if y'all really wanted to help, y'all could have, um, instead of um, letting Hillary Clinton run a foundation to help them out, we could have done something better than that. That was just my opinion. They're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats, eat the cat, eat, eat the cat, they're eating the dogs, they're eating the cats, eat the cat, eat, eat the cat. Eat. Yo, the way I fell out of my chair when I hear Trump talking about they're 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 eating the dogs and they're they're eating the cats. You know when a child is telling you a lie <laughs> and you already know it's a lie. So they use all these words, you know, I was um, over there and then, and then I saw someone and then for him to try to fix his face and say, I have seen it on TV, <laughs> sir, you didn't even see it in person. <laughs> and the people who are over there are literally telling you this is not true. And Trump is going to take a lie and run with it and continue and then play in our face as if this is supposed to be something that we're supposed to believe. Sir, really eating dogs and eating cats, really? Really? And you know what? People are looking and watching the debate <clears throat> and just looking at America like like we're doomed, like we're done. Like this is the man that you're voting for president. Now don't get me wrong. I don't care for Kamala Harris. I don't think that she is actually being real. And I think as soon as she gets that title, if she does get the title because she has the women in, on her side and also um some men too. <clears throat> But I think she's only going to get the vote because she's a woman and also because most women are wanting to see something different for women, right? So I think a lot of people are voting for her. And plus, she's quote-unquote trying to get the black vote by overplaying her black card, which normally wouldn't be a thing. But I think people are looking at watching the debate and looking at Donald Trump waiting for him to say something stupid so they can laugh at America at this point because what is going on like why is this what we're talking about when you're supposed to be talking about the economy and how people are supposed to you know 
do it the next 10 years, you know, like project 2030. What is going on with that? Why are we talking about Haitians eating cats? Even though you don't even have proof. This is, I've seen on TV, you know, when somebody tell you a story and they said, you know what, this whole time you're thinking it's a real story. And the whole time it, it's, it's something that they saw in a movie, something that they saw in the movie. It's not even real. Like you cannot even, there's no base to this entire story. And people overseas, even the man who was saying that Clearly, this is all made up, and you can tell by how disappointed he was because they were really waiting for him to really say something that's going to hard in on like him becoming president. Like, this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. You know, may, hell, something on um, uh, Harris, Kamala Harris, something that's going to be incriminating on her. Why are you talking about Haitians? <laughs> because what the heck <laughs> you know and then on top of that to say i saw it on tv that they were eating cats and and um you know harming babies harming babies really i mean out of all things harming babies seriously trump i mean <laughs> at this point you can't take this man seriously and people if people take trump seriously you're not all the way there either because there's just no way and my thing is i <clears throat> in my opinion I'm going to, I mean, I, I don't vote. First of all, I don't, I don't believe in voting because I believe everything is already pre-planned and they already know who's going to be president when or whatever. I think it's something that's already pre-planned and oh, your vote means absolutely nothing. But then black people will convince themselves that you need that extra vote. Your one vote is going to make a difference anyway, but that's in my opinion. <laughs> and I think that, you know, if there was anybody to vote for, I wouldn't vote for Trump just because of who he is, not because of, you know, because he's white or Milan, M oh, Harris is half black or whatever she wants to present herself as today and then change it tomorrow, whatever. But don't you think they're going to basically use her as the black woman in, in the White House and say, oh, well, look, the country's going downhill. It's because of this black woman that's that's in, in the house, although like the country was already downhill from Trump, from from Biden. It was already there's already all these problems, you know, um, taxes too high and this is too high. Although we know that the president at the end of the day have no say. So it's the people behind him who has a lot to say, who basically control everything. But this is going to be the thing that they're going to blame the black woman and say, well, the blacks were in the country, the blacks. You know, did this and did that. They're going to just put her forth as the face of black people. And then they're going to do whatever work that they're going to do to basically make her look bad. And then say, look, our country was doing great. We were making America great until the black woman get in, in office. And now everything is, it's like we have to start over again, even though America's been the way that it is. But people overseas are looking at us like a, a laughing stock. Because what are we doing? What are we saying? During the presidential debate, this is what he's focusing on. Haitians eating, eating cats. Haitians are everywhere. Haitians are everywhere. They're overseas. They're in Chile. They're in Brazil. They're everywhere. And people, I know people who really know Haitians know that this, this shit ain't true. Us eating cats, what? It could be a real flimsy Haitian. They wouldn't eat cats or dogs. First of all, we don't even think animals like that, cats and dogs, belong in the house. Because it's just unsanitary. And we're not about to have like cats walking on our counter while we're cooking. That is the reason why most Haitians don't eat at the at the work potluck. Because we believe that you probably have cat hair or you probably got your cat walking all over the counter while you are making the food that everybody else is going to eat. So <laughs> I don't know, Trump's talk about, oh yes, I saw this on TV that Haitians be eating cats. And, uh, and then on top of that, they're they're sacrificing your children. What, sir? Have several seats and start talking about what's more important, like like the economy, housing prices, all of those things that are actually important that people should be focusing on and not the propaganda of like making people hate each other so they can pick a side, you know? At the end of the day, this is all propaganda. This is all like a hate train to hate this group of people because Biden brought them here. So you should hate them now. This is ridiculous. Do better, Trump. Do better. Anyways, um, anyone who is Trump supporter, supporter or Camilla Harris supporter, y'all need to just you know do better because this country is going down to hell in a handbasket because of the people that we're choosing. If it was a a dog against Trump, I would pick the dog. 
just because I, I don't know. But then again, I don't vote. So it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm not vowing to nobody. Unless you're paying all of my bills, I'm not vowing to you, please. Because that's what voting is. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I got to send the dog out because she's literally staring right at me. And it's time for her to go out. So I'll talk to you guys later. Ooh. First, I want to ask if anybody has any videos where any Haitians like eating cats or ducks or anything like that, please tag me. Um, and don't send me the video where the young lady is actually eating the cat that's not from Springfield, Ohio, that's not an immigrant, and she's also not Haitian. Please don't send me that video. But any other video, go ahead and tag me. Because one thing we're good at globally is taking our phones out and start recording. I hear people pets are being taken away from them. I hear people pets are being stolen, being eaten by these Haitians. And I haven't seen anybody come forward and say, yes, my pet, I seen them do it. I recorded it. I got it on a ring camera, whatever the situation is. Why do you guys like literally like hate Haitians so much? Like, I just want to know that answer to that question. All right, I have a little story about, you know, experiencing people not liking Haitians for no apparent reason. For example, when I was younger, I remember going to the laundromat with my mom, and it was a lady there. She had a bunch of kids with her, and they were playing with the little cart things that you transport the clothes from the washing machine to the dryer. My mom politely asked one of the kids, can she borrow it? She'll give it back when she's done. He runs and go tell his mom that my mom took the little thing, for the little cart from him, and she comes back and she asks, why did you take the cart? My mom said she needed to transport the clothes. There, was, there wasn't any available. So she um, goes off on my mom. She called and she told my mom, won't you bring your effing Haitian behind back to Haiti and stuff like that. And I'm like, that was uncalled for. But my mom, you know, said, take your ass back to, uh, to, to Africa. Because you wasn't, you wasn't, she said, you're not from here. She said, the white people brought you over here as a slave. And I was shocked when my mom said that. I'm like, okay, let her have it, mama. But that's besides the point. I just want to know, like, why? Like, why? What have we done? Like, what have we done to you guys? I'm not saying everybody on like Haitians, but what have we done? Like, this can't be real. And this false narrative about Haitians cutting off duck heads, I know if somebody saw something, it would have been here. It, I could be, You could prove me wrong just by tagging me on these videos. Again, don't show me that video of that young lady eating that cat because that's not, that has nothing to do with Springfield at all. Um, and I heard, uh, you know, people saying that um, Haitians are causing a lot of accidents in Ohio. And um, I guess Haitians are the only ones that have accidents and nobody has one. Because that's weird. My husband just got into an accident the other day and he wasn't hit by a Haitian person. Can you believe that? But anyways, um, I'm done with that. For somebody who's been born and raised in Florida, Miami to be exact, I've experienced people not liking Haitians for no apparent reason. I'm not sure if there is a reason. Um, if there are, please let me know because I'm not sure what it is. It was so bad to the point where Haitians were starting to deny they were Haitian, didn't want to say they were Haitians. Again, I don't know what's going on, but that's my take on this Springfield, Ohio thing. I want to speak to my Haitian people now. So if you're not Haitian, please exit left and let me speak to my Haitian people. Lille pour nous mettre tête nous ensemble et garder ça n'a fait peut-être monde ça y a ici y a ici ici tant que tant que c'est chien nous y tant que sont bête nous y tant que sont disease nous y I don't understand what's going on pour ça y pas rien nous ça nous fait yo but nous besoin faire bagarre Lille pour aller Lille pour aller ma connait côté nous pour aller but it's Lille pour aller